Okay, so what is the Bible? The Bible is a collection of sacred texts. It is a collection of scriptures written at different times by different authors to different locations. The Bible is thousands of years old, yet it still remains relevant to us. It is used in Judaism by Christians and also sometimes by Muslims. Both Christians and Jews consider the books of the Bible to be a product of divine inspiration or authoritative record. And then we see it as a book that links us and causes us to relate with God. Now, the Bible is an inspired book and it is a holy book, hence it is among the holy books of all religions. It is also called a life manual, that is, it contains the things needed to help us live this life effectively and efficiently. This book is used by Jews also, as well as Christians. Okay, why the Bible? Somebody will ask, why should I read the Bible? It is very essential for us to know and understand the Bible. The Bible is not just an ordinary book, but it's a collection of historical facts. It's a collection of over 1,500 years of human life and human history. So by understanding and by knowing the Bible, you'll be able to know a lot about how to live this human life. Who wrote the Bible? The Bible, as it is, or as you have already learned, is an inspired book. It was written by 40 authors in different locations in different times. Took a span of about 150 years for them to compile the entire Bible, but its main author was God Himself, who inspired holy men and holy prophets to script and to pen the Bible. The Bible was written over a span of 1,500 years by people like Moses, like John, like Peter, like Paul. Unlike other religious writings, the Bible reads as factual news account of real events, places people and dialogue. Historians and archaeologists have repeatedly confirmed its authenticity. Using the writer's own writing style and personality, God inspiring them showed to us who he is, what he is like, and how to relate effectively with him. Okay, so what consists of the Bible? The Bible consists of the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Old Testament consists of about 39 books, and the New Testament contains about 27 books. The Old Testament, also called the Law and the Prophet, is usually what is found in the Jewish Torah. The New Testament, which is which consists of the Gospel, the four Gospels, the three synop synoptic Gospel, and then the one dietic Gospel, as well as epistles that teaches about the doctrines and then the teachings of Jesus Christ, were written by the apostles and several others. The Bible was divided into chapters by the 13th century. That means that at first the Bible did not have chapters, neither did it have verses. By the 13th century, a man named Stephen Langton divided the Bible into chapters. And by the 16th century, a French printer named Robert Einstein divided the Bible into verses. This was done to help us effectively and faithfully be able to do reference and then no citations.